Hiya folks, Sandro here with more cartoon news and shenanigans. And if you'd like more cartoon news and shenanigans, I'd ask you to please subscribe to the channel. In fact, do it right now so you don't forget about it later. And I thank you for that. So today, uh, instead of a uh, news or a shenanigan, you know, <laughs> I guess, well, I guess it's technically news, but we're, we're just going to be watching the, uh, the new Infinity uh, Train Book 4 official trailer. Uh, we're here on YouTube.com on the official HBO Max, uh, what's it called here, uh, YouTube channel. I'm going to put a link in the description down below if you guys want to watch this directly. And I will tell you, whenever I, I watch a trailer, I shut the music off because I always get copyright claims, god damn it. Um, and uh, I always put this little hamster fellow on here so I don't get claimed for the footage which just keeps seeming to happen to me for whatever reason. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to be uh, taking a look. I'm going to give you guys a play-by-play -play here. Uh, also, I want to mention, if you are no, you're no, if you look at the screen right now, you're going to notice that my cursor isn't on the screen. Uh, OBS had an update today, and I cannot figure out how to put the cursor on the screen. So uh, bear with me for a little bit here. <laughs> uh, so anyways, let's go. Uh, okay, so we have a live show. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. There's a uh, there's something in the description here. Uh, the music aspirations of Ryan and Minnie Gee are put on hold as they board the train at the same time and receive the exact same number. Can this friendship withstand the train? Stream Book 4 of Infinity Train April 15th on HBO Max. Uh, so th this is, uh, it's coming out in three days. Wow. This is going to be uh, pretty cool. So I got to get this video out like ASAP tomorrow morning <laughs> is what, is what that means. So anyways, yes. Yeah, so we, we're here, we're on the, we see it. Um, I guess, so hold on Ryan. I'm assuming Ryan is the older one and, uh, mini Gee. Mini Gee must be the tiny one, I guess maybe. Uh, so it's a little kid. He's a live show. Uh, is this, is this a sister or brother or I, I don't, I'm not exactly hundred percent sure. Uh, okay. We got some kid with a nice little, uh, thunderbolt back there, uh, hiding in the bushes. Uh, <laughs> let's keep going. Okay. So, oh, so this, oh, th this must be Ryan and mini Gee, I, I guess. Uh, okay. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> After they become famous in Canada, hey, I'm from Canada, so that's that's great to uh, get a Canadian shout out right there. Uh, okay, we're uh, we're getting some rock rock and roll going on here. Oh, I, I guess okay, okay. So I think in the beginning they were children, and now they're older. Is that is that the story we're getting here? Like they had dreams of becoming like a band or something, and I, I I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure. Let's keep going. <laughs> Uh, Powell Lake High School Battle of the Bands, uh, seven p.m. New York City. Okay, they have a map there. Looks like they're uh, they're planning on where they're gonna play their music. Uh oh, and now here we go. Here we go. Max oh, HBO Max original. Ah, of course. You know, a little uh, one of those little things you hit at the restaurant there. The little uh, waiting bell, I think it's called, or something. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay they've got uh that's interesting that they have the uniforms on now so uh i think some of the the previous members of uh the people who were on the train uh i don't think they they had or were these maybe they were maybe this is their band uniform i don't know that looks like the uniform that looks like a train uniform right yeah that that looks like the uniform of um <clears throat> what what was her name? Amelia was wearing uh, in the previous season. Uh, where are we? So there. Okay. So so it takes place. So the train. So basically, it, at the beginning, we see little bits of when they were kids. Looks like they wanted to be musicians, and uh, I guess I guess uh, <laughs> I guess at the end of the train, you know, the train always helps them work out their issues. So maybe. Uh, Maybe this is one of those stories where they can't figure out the inspiration for their next big song and then they do all the stuff on the train and then they sing. Maybe they make a song called Infinity Train and that's why, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. That'd be a bit of a stretch, huh, guys? Uh, but let's keep going. 
Okay. He remembers getting on two trains. Okay, very interesting. Oh, and there we go. There we are. <laughs> uh, the little bell says that she's never heard of two people getting on at the same time. Interesting. Maybe they're twins. Who knows? <laughs> twins that were lost at birth. I, I No, I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on here. Yeah. Okay. So they're putting emphasis on them having the same number. What could that mean? It could it could they be twins? I I don't. I'm not sure. I don't know. Why why would they have the same number? They're they're putting emphasis on it. Like I've never seen two people get on the train at the same time. They both have the same number. What's going on here? We only have to wait three days to find out, baby. <laughs> so uh, that's my guess. They're twins. They could be. twins. Okay, they're blaming each other. Huh. Okay. Interesting. I forgot to put on my hamster. Oh no, am I gonna get foot? Oh no, oh no, I just remember I didn't put this hamster on. Am I gonna get claimed for the first half of this? Oh no. Okay, let's get let's keep going. Let's let's just hope. Let's just hope. Okay, playing some music. Uh got the Daft Punk helmet going. Astronaut helmet. They're in a museum. Hmm. Okay, so that that's back then. Or is this in the past then? Because that creature was book four. Okay. Um, streaming April 15th. Oh, April f April 15th. Hold on. April 15th. Oh, I don't know why. I thought it was. Okay. I, I don't know. I'm hallucinating. I thought it was March. I, crazy. <laughs> but anyways, guys, that's the whole thing. Oh, yeah, there's Close Enough. Uh, really great stuff on uh, Close Enough Season 2. I already binge-watched the whole thing. I did a, a quick little review of it. Um, so, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, here is Owen Dennis's full statement on the end of Infinity Train. This is the... Fo whoa, 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 what? This is the final season of Infinity Train. While this wasn't the intended final season of Infinity... Okay, let me turn this off. Hold on. There we go. Uh, it is a self-contained story and will add to the history and lore of the show like each season before it has. Everyone works super hard on it and I couldn't be happier with how it turned out. Each season of Infinity Train has been a very different experience and tone than the one that came before it. We went into this one with the intent of trying a slightly different direction with the show, and I think it will come out as a pleasant surprise to most fans. Let me guess, they end up gay together. That's that's my prediction. Um, you never know. I, I, th I think so. I think they're going to go for the woke ending here. Uh, they're probably going to be gay. Uh, production uh, stopped last December. Okay, so that's quite some time uh, ago. Uh, maybe someday we'll be able to make more. I don't know, but for the foreseeable future, this is going to be the last season. I hope you all have a good time watching it. Continue to support it however you can. Uh, in the meantime, our crew has moved on to other projects, and so have I. Follow them on social media. Continue to check out the personal work. They are all genuinely good people. If you're a showrunner, DM me. I can give you a full uh, rec on any of... Rec? Recording? On any of them? Um... Yeah, okay, so I think he's looking for more work there. Uh, I'm so thankful to the crew of Infinity Train for helping me make uh, make what it became and to the fans for their incredible support over the years. Yeah, remember, guys, I think Infinity Train was just a short, and because so many millions of people watched it, it became like an actual show. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember that. Like, we, <laughs> they, were, they made like a couple of reruns and like everybody on Reddit was like, we have to watch it so it becomes a show. And then I also watched it too. And then, uh, yep. It, it became a show. Uh, so we, we got four seasons out of it. What more can you ask for? You know, uh, most Disney shows in the modern day only get about four seasons if they're lucky anyway. So uh, I, I guess we were lucky here on this one. Uh, it would have been cool to have like maybe like one more like final, final season to get like wrap up all the loose, loose ends. But uh, 
All right, whatever. I'll, I'll take what I can get. Uh, <laughs> so uh, while book four is the end of the line, it, I'll always be grateful and never forget that this series has meant to so uh, forget that this series has meant so much to people, so many people. Yeah. So that guy, uh, where was that source for that though? Um, let me see here. Owen Dennis's uh, full statement on the end of. I, I just want to make sure that's real and not just like a fake. Uh, let me just uh, find a source here. Hold on. Here we go. Hold on. I'm seeing a Reddit post. Uh, yeah. Okay. So there it is. It's real. Okay. <laughs> um, Infinity Train Book Four Duet. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's my prediction. I feel like it could be that they're going to make the, the ma two main guys, uh, a gay couple, uh, or something like that. I, I don't know. Maybe they end up, maybe they're just twins that they found each other on the train. I, I don't know. I don't know what the situation, it seems like they knew each other as children. I, I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Uh, I don't want to, you know say that it is and then it isn't i i did this earlier i said um it, what was it in book three a lot of people got really angry because i said like oh it could be that uh hazel because she was wearing man's clothes for like this one segment i was like oh god are they gonna make this one of those general gender neutral things so it ended up not being woke uh you know okay maybe maybe there's a, a good scene or two that were pretty woke but uh overall it wasn't that woke so yeah i i thought it uh you know that's just my prediction because I don't trust this Cartoon Network anymore. I just don't trust them. I think that's how it's going to end. Uh, but I'd like to be wrong. Prove me wrong, Cartoon Network. Uh, you know, make them into um, a cool ending. You know, I, I actually really liked the first uh, book of Infinity Train where it's like she didn't have her like reflection in the mirror and then that metal tulip. That was that was really cool. I hope they do something like that again because that was just really interesting. But, uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to end the video here. Um, you know, please share, please comment, please subscribe, etc., etc. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And that's it from me, guys. So, remember, it's actually April 15th, not March 15th, that uh, this comes out. So, that's it. Bye-bye. See you later.